Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix. Today we're going over the five levels of spear players in Brawlhalla. So essentially in this video, we're going to see the differences between the levels of gameplay as we go up in ELO and different regions. The regions are all pretty similar, so it's like we'll see a little bit of diversity so we're gonna start with 1300 elo spear us west then we're gonna go to a 1600 elo spear in eu then 1800 spear us east um it isn't exactly it's just that's the hundreds that these players are in then we're gonna be going to a 2200 spear in us east and then almost like a pro level spear at a 2500 elo so guys, if you enjoy this type of stuff, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know down below in the comments which weapon would you like me to see go over next in this series of uh, videos. 1300 Spear. We have the Hattori player because obviously Mordex doesn't have Spear. Um, this is like a brand new Spear to the game. What basics do they know compared to other players? Let's, let's watch this. That's not Spear. We're going to skip the Spear. Okay, thank you for listening to me. So a lot of side light fishing, a lot of attack fishing, you'll just kind of see players at the Sila aren't particularly skilled at punishing, right? That's something you learn throughout gold is like, how do you punish? How do you punish effectively? Which moves should you punish with the combos and whatnot? You learn basic combos at silver. So right there, we saw the D-Light Sarah, which is really good. But again, that big skill gap of knowing how to punish and what punishing is. That's the difference in the ELO, in my opinion. Um, and we'll see that throughout the uh, skill levels. There's obviously some little things like like movement and whatnot. It's obviously important. Um, and just being familiar with different options to serve that purpose of punishing and whatnot. Nice D-Light Sare. Yeah, just like still some strong combos and whatnot. Good coverage with the recovery. Um, but again, it's just like the neutral interactions, right? Like, let's slow this down a little bit. I just want to like watch over. Okay, you landed the hit there. I want to see like a bad neutral exchange. Let's kind of watch. Good little side light. Actually doing pretty well. Punishing pretty well. Like little things like this, right? Going for a side light here when they're directly above you on Scythe. A good player like Sandstorm would punish this 10 out of 10 times with just a downer. Um, bad players will whiff the downer. Um, this Mordex is not a good player. Um, but same thing here, like, like just, this is what I mean by like learning how to punish. You got to understand the state you're in. Um, you can't go for side light in this position, um, against good players on spear. Um, you'll get away with that in silver, but not at a pro level. And then you also just whiff the follow up. I know I'm making fun of the gameplay, but again, that's the difference we're going to see. Um, it's just a lot of decision making. Same with like here, uh, they're jumping away. Just not confirmed. That one's a bit harder for like a silver to understand. Um, good Nair. Like, what's the point in the side sig? You're just gonna get punished by good players. It baits bad players, so I guess that that's the point, and you want neutral because of it, but still, just interesting. Oh, you lost this game. How'd you lose? Just really solid in general coming from the Hattori. Just a couple like issues in terms of like like why are you mashing right um punishing is really important that side like should not have worked what is this how did this work that's stupid okay well i guess it just came out quicker could have dodged that like things like that it's just you don't get those that type of info at uh the silver just like inexperienced it's not even like lack of skill, just inexperience. I think everyone kind of has skill. Anyone could go pro if they really wanted to. It's just like, you have to practice enough to like make your inputs like automatic so you can like focus on other stuff. Oof. Like side light again, running into side sigs. Probably could have punished that with a down air. Good side light. Nice. Good try in there. Wasn't a bad option. Like, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. This player learned to adapt the Mordex and learned to punish this properly throughout the match. And you literally lost because of it. Now you don't have spear. And yeah, you lost. I want to just turn the game off because it's not spear, but it's also close, so. 
Yeah, that's it. So yeah, we saw the mistake and we saw the Mordex actually cover um, the mistake the Hattori was making over time and learn to adapt. Now let's see 1600 ELO Spear. So both uh, the winner and the loser are on Spear in this match. Um, Diamond Power is the person who uh, submitted this gameplay. So we're going to be kind of watching the Wushan for the most part. Nice. Homie thoughts. Let's go. Homie emotes. Okay. <laughs> So a lot quicker tempo already. Um, you can just kind of see night and day. These players are more familiar with the options on their kit. Hitting better follow-ups like that double D-Light is really clean to see. Um, but we're still going to see mistakes punishing. Like right there is kind of like a misinput to know that the person's falling. Uh, a D-Light doesn't make sense there. Right? Little things like that. It's a different kind of... Um, different kinds of mistakes than a silver player like in this situation as well um if you're a pro player your goal is to avoid the attack first um you kind of ran into it obviously pros run into attack same with this like end sig like what's the point in this end sig they're off stage like gold players and plot players they'll make the same mistake where it's like they're just doing stuff a bit randomly and forcing it um meanwhile they gotta be playing like more automatic more like how a computer would play making less mistakes and just understanding every time you get hit it's a mistake also i just want to say why are you why do you have gadgets on and ranked like you're a weirdo nice ending like that stair spacing was bad and then that ground pound was bad too it's just so punishable it's a lot better than the silver gameplay, but it's more in the like the movement options and the muscle memory. You, you're still going to see those neutral exchanges that are really dumb. Like they're going for a... F Why would you just go for a wake up GC NSIG on Orion? It's just weird. And you get a ton of damage because gauntlets be gauntlets. Back to sphere. Nice. Could have probably went for reaction. Surprise that sideline didn't hit. The end sig wasn't a bad option. That was just a good end. Like both end sigs were good options. Like just little things like that. Like forcing things. Like why would you input a side sig when they're not even on the ground yet? It's just trying to catch them off guard. But it's just again it's forcing interactions. It's not playing with knowledge. You need to know if something's going to hit. Right? It's not guessing. Pros don't guess. Nice side light. Stop going for these reads. This isn't even a read. This is just you guessing. Um, start reacting. Hit a side light. You can like do nothing, see how they dodge, and then go for like recoveries and stuff. Pros are really good at that. You try the bit there, which is nice. Like there, if you waited a second, saw the jump up, then go for a recover recovery. <clears throat> you would have gotten <clears throat> the hit for free. Ooh, good try on the end sig. Okay, you hit that. Yeah, it's just a, the the main thing is just weird interactions. Vintage combo. Nice recovery. It's actually somewhat of a close game. Nice downlight. That was surprising. Okay, they're not on spear. I'm getting off. Definitely a lot of like weird, just weird options. What is this GC side light? I know it worked. And then you go for a downer. It's just weird. And like mashing. What is this end light against Lance? No. Nice end light. Nice end light. Good. Clean. You could have recovered there and it might have even killed. And a recovery there would have set up for another recovery. What is that side sig? That doesn't count. It was gadgets. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so that's 1600. Now a little bit better. We're going to 1800, so nothing crazy. Um, we got a uh, Dusk player. Three, two, 
against another Mordex, of course. That was good. This is what I mean the difference between a silver player and like a plat player. Watch this. Instead of going for an attack in neutral, like this dust, look at the pressure. Instead of going for an attack here, goes for a safe nair, then understands he's in a disadvantage state. Look at this. Wait, wait. Oh, then he attacks, then you go in. Right? That's punishing. It's letting your opponent miss. Or putting your opponent in a spot where you can hit them by like taking dodges and stuff. bit awkward there whiff nice weird end light could have avoided the side sig weird sare i would have nared there especially in like this positioning stack 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 nair like that whole time you probably get nared it's also a safe option mm, dealer was a bit slow there Definitely just like like certain inputs like that. This is a lot better starting to understand what makes players good But the execution is like a big issue. I'm seeing from this dusk um, That's a good nair. We probably could have Sarah though to get killed. That's a good end take I'm um, just like a little bit of execution having just some issues um, I'll, I'll, I'll point more towards in the future because it's gonna happen again. Probably could have dared, Sarah. That's fine. I like got more damage. It's fine. Should have Sarah. They have no dodge. This is a perfect Sarah. Sarah and light, then go for like combos after. That's a misinput. And then what is the side light? What? This is just you getting baited out completely. And I would have recovered earlier. You could have made that back if you were closer to the ledge when you dodged. Also, a big thing with improving is noticing these mistakes in the present. Like, while they're happening. It's like, oh, I just did a stupid side light. And I got hit for it. I can't do that. You know? Nice. That's a good reaction. That's what I was trying to say from the last player. They're going for automatic follow-ups after side light. Look at the side light. Nothing. Does like a little dash to reposition. They dodge. Oh, and now you hit the big damage. This is just forcing an attack in neutral. Like that is bad. To date, delighted there. Just like weird inputs. Could have spaced around it. Nice there, nice there. Oh, ground pound, they have no dodge. Mm. Ground pound's a bigger hitbox, plus they have no dodge. There is, is fine too, but you have to really make sure you hit it. Just awkwardness, like in, the, in that just whole exchange. Like that that should have been a ser, not an air. This is just random. Nice. You gotta like understand that's all the Mordex has been doing to zone. Stop forcing it. That was a bad side light, but it worked. Nice weapon throw. Didn't even get it back. That's fine. Nice. Good punish. Yeah, just like a lot of like iffy situations where it's like you gotta be like smarter. It's like the big difference between this and what pro is gonna look like. Like, what is this? They're fully charging it. And you go in with like a stupid nair. It's good down there that for free. You avoid it. The D sig. Oh, here we go. Just like a lot of, again, just bad situation, no inputs. That wasn't so bad. 
came back to stage with the weapon toss. What is that side? It, it's just like, like, what is this input? What made you want to stare here? Could have gotten punished so easily by just gauntlets, but you didn't because they're not that good. They threw that. That, would, that should have been a recovery. You're winning this because they're bad. You're not even winning this. You're losing this. But you do win the match. And then that's good. That's what the last player needed to do. Hit those reactions at a side light. Look at that. Awesome. Love it. A lot of bad stuff, but I love that. Okay, next we have 2200 ELO. And then we go all the way up to 2500. So this should be a big skill gap. We're watching the uh, Kaya. Oh, that's a snowy client. I know snowy client. I played against snowy client. Good side light. Again, going for those reactions is good. Um, the Dusk did, or uh, Ezio did a good job at avoiding. Nice side light. Just like a lot better neutral and just like decision making in like awkward situations. Really clean. Awesome. Love it. Nice down air. Perfect. Oh, basically a perfect stock. Nothing to complain about. Except you lost spear. Those weapon throws got you hit once. Pros make mistakes too. But uh, yeah. Ooh, that should have been an air. I think that's just meant to be an air. Ooh, that Sarah's awkward. See, pros make mistakes. It's just way less. And the mistakes they make, it's like calculated mistakes. Like there's some intention behind them, right? Like going for D light and stuff here. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it was not there. I think it was earlier. Uh, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll mention the next one. Um, also just some bad positioning that's leading Snowy Client to get hit a lot. Like that was just really good from the Ezio. But just like small things that like just made them take damage. Like why did you whiff here, right? Well, you whiffed because they're right in front of you, but they used movement to get around and you weren't ready for it, right? So it's like, okay, picking and choosing when to go in because you know that like movement is so easy in this game. It just wasn't safe to side light there. Same with like the D light here. You're essentially stacked with them. I would have like desigged. This is like stacked. You can't D light when stacked. Like little decisions right there is like, like definitely a big skill gap. But those little decisions will make or break if you win BCX or not. You have to not make those bad decisions, and that's why Impala won. Nice D-Sig. Nice. Good follow-up. Nice. Sad Sig was random. Good D-Sig. Nice downer. Mm, bit awkward. Good Sarah. Just genuinely playing a lot better than their opponent right now. Um, and it's just again like just less mistakes is like the the skill difference. You're not seeing Snowy Client make as many stupid inputs like those random nares. That this is all just dumb. This is just misspacing from both of them. The D light, whatever. You got it. You can't side light when they're right next to you. D sig. D sig. Oh my god. This is bad. That was a bad spacing. D sig. Definitely got D sig on stack more. Snowy. Nice D light. I make the same mistake on Lance, by the way. Like I, I'm not perfect either. Right? I'm just saying what the skill difference is. If you want to be perfect. It's not about hitting these cool clips and stuff. It's about making a game plan that works against everyone. What are you doing? You just... Oh, you're dumb. You're just dumb, Snowy Client. That was dumb. You're not actually dumb. You were just dumb there. Nice. Catches no dodge. Tries to go for recovery because there's no dodge. Good d -stick. So, yeah. A lot better. Now, we're going to see even better. Now, we got Sea Bass. Uh, 2,500. We have a Kaya mirror match. There's a lot more players playing Kaya now. Three, two, Let's see this. I don't know Mary Jane's last dance, but I know Seabass. 
So we're watching the blue Kai, everyone. Really good from their opponent there. Little things like this, just like forcing nares in neutral, even though this looks like it should have hit, um, happens. And then you dodged in, so you got caught with it. You got people perfect. If you want to be the best. Nice nair. You can't side light like that. Good try on the end sig, allowed you to get back to stage. You could have side lighted. Sarah side light is either like true or like one dodge frame. Okay, we got spear. Nice dare. Bad nair. Okay, good. Good reaction. Probably could have hit another D light, but they touched grounded, so probably not. Kind of depends if their opponent's bad or not. Nice nair. Nice. Good end sig. Caught the dodge. That NC catches just a lot of dodge options. Even though you're not like going for reactions or reads, just going for those SIG follow-ups can confirm kills. Especially like when Seabass is only in like light yellow or like now orange, it's like it's fine to go for that. You're not like dying if you miss. Nice weapon throw to break neutral. Nice. Dodge. That side light was bad. It was just like not confirmed, you know? This Kaya player is also like really good he's playing against just in terms of like making Seabass look bad too. Seabass wouldn't make as many mistakes against uh, worse players. That was really clean also. Just like solid, good damage, good start to confirm it. Good down there. Just a ton of pressure on Seabass. Didn't really know where to go because essentially and like just from a pro's decision making here is like as here i believe my whole screen is being shared so take a look at this okay pro's decision making here you got to understand spears range so there's like neutral air so you don't really want to be here um you don't want to be end light or side light range you don't really want to be d light um other than that you're kind of fine jump recovery is kind of bad so like Seabass only really has like this real estate to work with so it's like really difficult in that real estate goes where it's safe right then goes away to where it's safe getting just constantly pressured and then gets screwed for it um you can literally like see in the screenshot this is the space Seabass should have went up but even a soft platform like here this isn't safe because they could just like dash the light so it's like only that ledge was safe. What Seabass should have gone is like up and around. Jump, jump, jump. Save your dodge if they try in recovery. And then dodge through them. Um, but in that situation, like, it's just high pressure. You kind of got screwed for it. You touch though, so clean. Bad and light. It's just not confirmed. You're stacked. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, this is just bad from the other Kaya. Okay. Nice Nair. D-Light was fine, because here's like so, like one thing. You can go for follow-ups when they're like really hard to like punish. Look at this. Seabass constantly moving, drifting off stage. There's no way the other Kaya is going to punish him, like for the most part. Maybe like a raw end sig, but chose not to. Nice down sig. Perfect. Perfect. This is amazing. I just want to show you what Seabass did. Seabass pressured off stage. And look how he pressured off stage. Look at this. Chase up. Chase horizontally. Do you know what's important here? You're not wasting your jumps. You have tons of opportunity to essentially zone and pressure Kaya, the opponent Kaya, to like force a dodge, then go for down airs to confirm it. So take a look at this. Goes for a nair because he has all the jumps. Jump. Jump, the Kaya dodged and recovered. So Kaya is a sitting duck. You hit a down air, boop, boop, confirmed. Easy. And it's all because Seabass, instead of chasing off stage with jumps and dodges, which like 99% of players will do, ch double chase dodge to like not waste options. You love to see it. And then narrowing, knowing, oh, I have all my options, I can pressure you. Boop, boop. You're done. You're done. Love it. 
Seabass, definitely the best gameplay we've seen. And it's really cool in this series, just seeing all the levels of gameplay one after another. You don't see that anywhere else. So guys, if you want to see this with more weapons or characters or anything, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.